What's going on guys? Starting today's video out with another unboxing. Got a couple of these here recently. I Usually I don't have this many packages, but uh, I guess, you know, I'm just gonna show you guys what I got. It's a bunch of cool stuff. Uh, today I don't actually know what I have in this package, but this is a special one. As you guys know, if you've been following the channel or just following me at all through my journey with bass fishing, um, there's been one company especially that's been behind me since the beginning of their company but pretty much since the beginning of me starting bass fishing and that's untamed tackle so today we're actually going to be unboxing a package from untamed tackle really excited to see what's in here i think there'll be some pretty good stuff um but i've been using their jigs forever and awesome products if you guys haven't seen them yet or checked them out used any make sure to check out the link in my description i'm going to link untamedtackle.com um, definitely go check them out show all the support you can um, they've been supporting me forever and uh, they definitely deserve some recognition for that and uh, a little bit of love from you guys because their jigs work they really do stay tuned for the coming videos you'll see that so we're gonna get this thing opened up here real quick Let's see what we got here oh man I don't know if I'm supposed to show you guys this stuff or not but I'm gonna either way. We're gonna get started out here with uh, what's become probably my favorite swim jig of all time, and that is the Apex Swim Jig. It looks like in here we've got several different colors, so I'm gonna kind of showcase some of these colors for you guys. The one thing that's been very, very uh, unique about Untamed Tackle and what they focused on big time is detail when it comes to their jigs, and that's, you're talking components, but also just the aesthetics and how the jig looks, how natural it looks. And with that Apex jig, if you look right there, that head is money. It's uh, The design of it's perfect for hovering over grass, shaking it over grass. So like down here on the Coosa River in Alabama, I've grown to absolutely love this jig. Um, but just in general too, it's a great grass jig just for swimming it through grass in general. It's got kind of a, a tapered head, so it's going to cut through that grass really nice. But it's not like your regular bullet style swim jigs like some other companies have where it's just kind of a round cone shape the problem with those is they don't keel very well so they have a tendency to roll if you don't rig your plastic perfectly these things are money guys i've been catching fish on them already this spring okay this one right here is awesome and this is a limited run i got to show you guys these for sure you guys know if you've been down in the south they're just pretty much bass fishing in general you know about lake gunnersville and in the springtime, there gets to be a really good bite on red baits, red lipless crankbaits, red chatterbaits. And Untamed's doing a limited run. Uh, they probably won't be available anymore, but I got a couple of these colors, the red color. I'm really excited to try these in some of that shallow grass this time of year when they're eating red, uh, red baits. But not a lot of people have, have really uh, dabbled with the red swim jig. So check that one out right there. That is awesome. I pair that up with like a green pumpkin red uh, rage craw or something like that or a z craw thing's definitely going to get bit but those right there are just kind of you know a little bit more of like a fire craw hotter red imitator for that skirt color that's really cool and it looks like these here are three eighths ounce i pretty much only run quarter and three eighths when it comes to swim jigs pretty simple that way Now let's keep rolling with the swim jigs. There's another red color there. Like I said, we're, we're testing out variances of colors right now. So you guys will notice that if you follow on Tame Tackle on their Instagram or Facebook pages, we're pushing right now, trying to figure out what colors people want to use. So if you guys want to try out some of these colors, definitely give them a shot. Like I said, those are a limited run. Um, but this is a new color actually coming out right here. Green pumpkin blue. That is money. I don't care where you're at in the whole country. Um, this one I did know I was getting because I really wanted to try it. Uh, that color right there is just, it's perfect for pretty much any condition, any water clarity. Um, but especially when there's like a little stain in the water or like you're talking about clear water. That's where I really like to use a color like this. That little bit of blue iridescence is key sometimes for getting a couple extra bites. Oh yeah. There's one more right there. Like I said, guys, Apex Swim Jig is super legit. We're going to move on from here. Here we go. This, let me see how many of these I got. Okay. This one right here 
I have not gotten any of these in my hands yet. That is the new Untamed Tackle Breacher Heavy Cover Flippin' Jig. This thing right here is super unique. Uh, it's designed to have a perfectly straight fall. I mean, the head design on this is made for just that dead fall. As soon as you pitch it in the cover, it's gonna punch right through. Um, this is gonna be a really sweet jig for back home. Uh, I cannot wait to get out and start flipping it around on our lakes back home in Minnesota. Um, but especially here, one thing I don't ever see people do is, is using a jig on the Coosa River. It's always a Texas rig, and I wanna dabble with that. And that's something I'm super confident with back home. This breacher right here is gonna be perfect for those situations where you're trying to put a different profile and have something a little bit bulkier, um, like a jig profile going into those areas that other people are throwing more slender baits, like a Texas rig, you know, speed craw or something like that. But I've got it right there in that three quarter ounce in black and brown. And then this color right here, you guys saw green pumpkin. Um, that's a really sweet color. I'm going to pull that out of the package just to get a better look at it. But heck, this video might just be an untamed tackle unboxing. I don't know, but um, like I said, guys, I, I've been around this company for since their inception. I think it's been almost five years now, and uh, nothing but good things to say for Untamed Tackle. They've done everything right so far. Like I said, look at look at the attention to detail with this head. Now, what most people see is just you know this general head shape, and the head shape's great. But when you look at the actual profile of it, how wide that base is, how it tapers in real nice, that all of those things have been thought about. You're talking about punching into heavy cover. You want that thing to come in real easy, but when you're working it through that grass, you want it to kind of actually punch the cover out and make those fish react. So that's what that thicker bottom is going to do. It's going to punch into that cover easily. Any sort of thick grass, whether it's flipping, you know, kusa grass up shallow, um, punching mats even. I'm going to dabble with this punching some mats for sure. And then obviously back home on our weed lines, uh, you're talking about flipping thick coontail, uh, milfoil, that sort of stuff, or hydrilla down here. That's what this jig's gonna be perfect for right there. And uh, as you can see, that's another one of those skirts that you know we're gonna see if there's a couple new skirts that we can add to the lineup. I know they're already working on getting some new ones on there, just you know some of the staples. So big things coming from Untamed Tackle, guys. Uh, super excited to be working with this brand as always. I'm especially excited about this breacher. The Apex has been awesome for me, but this breacher jig is probably going to be, it's probably going to be kind of a sleeper, I think, for a lot of people. Back home in Minnesota, not so much. I'd be completely surprised if people didn't pick this thing up and just start absolutely waylaying on them back home. And honestly, I, I kind of wish that I could only be the only one to use these things, but uh, that's all right. When you guys get them in your hand, you're going to understand the quality that's been put behind this the thought in the weed guard it's not super stiff but not super soft it's going to be perfect for grass it's going to come down real easy when you're using you know a seven foot six flipping stick or even if you're throwing straight fluorocarbon and uh you know trying to work your bait with that too it's not too stiff for those situations but it's just that perfect stiffness to come through grass without getting hung up all the time and like I said, ton of attention to detail with the head. Uh, one thing I didn't mention, which I do want to mention real quick, is these grooves that you see in that head design. And there's a little bit of physics that goes into it, but uh, I was talking to the owner of Untamed when he designed this jig. And the thought process behind that was to add a little bit of almost like a, a channel for water to go around when this jig's falling. So when it's falling, it's actually using those grooves, those channels, to push water through those areas, and it actually pushes the head downward. So it's got that perfect straight downfall every single time. Uh, like I said, just a ton of attention to detail with these things. And then we got a couple more things here. Uh, white aces are coming out. These are gonna be sweet for bed fishing. Got a couple more of them here. 3 8 ounce, it looks like here, and a couple quarter ounces. That's what these are used for, bed fishing. They're going to be perfect. So we'll throw some white skirts on them and be good to go with those. But, you know, that's another concept not a lot of people are messing with. It's a lot of Texas rigs, but sometimes you got to throw something different in there. A jig versus a Texas rig, 
that jig's gonna make a lot more commotion on the bottom. It's gonna make a lot more noise when it's bouncing off the pea gravel or the rocks or the bed, the hard spot, that sweet spot you're looking for. So I, I definitely see an advantage to using a jig. Otherwise we just have uh, a few more skirts here and a couple more of those breacher heads. You guys stay tuned. I'm so excited to put these breachers to work. Um, this is, like I said, probably the most excited I've ever been about a new product coming from Untamed. Uh, I've caught so many fish on their eviction jig, their Punisher. Um, starting to rack up a lot of fish on that ace jig and the apex jig, but it's just a little bit slower fishing down south. You don't catch as many as back home. Um, but that ace jig is amazing for skipping docks back home, I will say that. But this thing right here, whether it's back home or down here when I'm around heavier cover, this is going to be my new favorite jig. I just, I guarantee it. There's nothing I enjoy more than having a seven foot six flipping stick in my hand when I can flip around at heavy cover and pitch to holes and uh, pretty much just rip them out of that cover. And this thing's going to be absolutely awesome for it. Nice compact profile. You're going to catch them when uh, the fish aren't biting as well. Of course, when they are biting real well and that fine cut skirt right there is going to make it super natural, super lifelike, going to get good action. You guys are going to want to check these out. I guarantee it. So yeah, that's pretty much the unboxing. I was uh, expecting to probably just add this to a video, but I think I'm going to just make this a video of itself. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing a couple of these products, kind of seeing what it's like whenever I get, you know, a little unboxing from Untamed Tackle. And I can't tell you how excited I am for these. These are going to be some great products for you guys to try out in the future. Uh, definitely stay tuned. If I can get to Gunnersville here sometime, I will be throwing that thing right there. And I'd be very surprised if I don't catch a three to five pounder on that. There's so many of them out there. So super fun doing this sort of stuff. Check out the Apexes. Check out the Ace Jig. Uh, check out the Breacher Jigs too when they come out. But that's a wrap for the unboxing. Got the white aces right there. Gonna add these to the tackle box, add these to the arsenal, and get to catching some bass on them here very shortly. But like I said, stay tuned for coming videos, guys. I've got some pretty good footage with my dad catching some nice fish, so I'm uh, really excited for you guys to see that. And some of them did come on the Apex swim jig, so stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe. Greatly appreciate it, as always. And we're gonna see you in the next one. Peace.